Hey, how are you doing? Okay, this is my fourth time to try to do a video. First, I was outside, it was so windy, and all I can hear was the sound of the wind on my phone. So I said, it's not gonna work. I made a turn, now I was facing the sun, which is kind of like, okay, it was okay, but part of me, it's kind of shiny, and part of me, it's kind of dark. So I, I drove around again, and now the sun is behind me, but it's still coming in through my uh, window. So I said, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna have to let it rip, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to do what I needed to do. What am I going to talk about this time? Um, it's about my vintage Juni and Burke Bolero type of bags. And anything can be a topic, a blog, and then you can, if you have a business, you can always segue that into a business matter. That's how I generate content creation on my blogs or my videos by picking up something and then I'll talk about it. So anywho, three years ago, I saw this lady who was holding a bag. It's so colorful. It has so many colors for a piece of bag. And I said, wow, that's pretty, pretty. But I didn't say uh, anything to her, you know. And then it took a year or two then it came to mind again I said I wonder um, if I'll be able to find that bag that I spotted a few days a few years ago I don't know the name I just keep on tapping with colorful yellow you know keywords is what I use and then it came across this with this vintage Dune and Burke bag called Bolero well apparently uh, Bolero bags they made it earlier in the 2000 if i'm not mistaken and they never made it anymore since then i had so seen a few in the past but they're expensive even the the crappiest um condition just because they don't come around anymore as i was going through my uh research i actually came upon a purse which is brown and brown with a black around it and I've noticed that it was only $40 a time. And because the handle is start a little bit appealing, but it's beautiful, no matter what I looked at, no matter is the condition, I find the Bolero bag very, very nice. So I ended up buying the purse, the bag. I got it and I saw the handles and I said, how can I make this better? So I ended up buying a bison leather string to wrap around the handle so this way it doesn't ruin. And I would like to show you my very first set of Dooney and Burke Blur bag. See, as you can see, this is the, this is leather, the string that I put it in here. This is my first uh, set of Blur bag that I bought last year, if I'm not mistaken. And I got this one for $40. Um, I love uh, putting letters on all my, I love putting letter conditional on all of my letter purses to take care of it. So I got this one last year. Then, you know, from time to time, I like to look around because sometimes they're around and sometimes they're not. And then I think late last year, I came across with another Bolero bag. This one is without a shoulder strap, but who cares and my second one is actually orange with green and this is called the kiwi color it's beautiful no matter what in a very good condition I don't remember how much I pay for it probably $50 yeah I think it's $50 and I've been using this one and this one you know I kind of like uh, they take turns on me using them Okay, so I got two. Then last month, oh no, in January, I saw another one. It just, I just type, you know, by browsing because when I do my research, I kind of, uh, I go deep into my research and I actually found another Bolero bag. And this one is $60. The lady was selling it for more than 100 but I think she wanted to get rid of it. And I found this purple one. See how beautiful that is? I think that's yellow too. 
and this one also is without a shoulder strap but knowing that the it's very colorful and it can go with any kind of color so i found a leather michael kors uh, shoulder strap to place with that one with to replace the missing shoulder strap so this is just um uh, i found this one in uh, like i said in january now a week ago i found another one and this lady was selling it for fifty dollars and i said okay can i offer you something different and she said yeah i can sell it to you for this price but i will not sell you the shoulder strap but i said oh i thought you're gonna uh do the shoulder strap because what you see is what you get when you list that she said yeah but i think you know the shoulder strap alone is eighty dollars and i told her you know what you were wrong because who sells especially if you bought it from the store itself who sells a, an actual expensive bag without the shoulder strap so anyway so i asked her well if she's gonna sell me the shoulder strap separately it will be eighty dollars but if she's gonna sell it to me with the shoulder strap is fifty dollars so i said okay um i'm gonna go ahead and buy it she said oh well there's like water stain on it and a little bit of floss but really who cares about those i just like the thing and today i got it and i want to show you the bag that i have today here you go this is the yellow sunflower with uh, pink strings and this is the yellow shoulder strap and in the back she said they are all water stains but to me they are more like fading of the leather which is added to the color the patina of um of the bag itself and i was thinking about uh cleaning the patina the the water stain but you know looking at it it's like no so this one i got it for 50 dollars as well now there's two more and i never see them as of yet and the one that the lady who's selling this one another person is like this is like a 500 dollars she's selling this for for 100 500 dollars so now um Am I collecting? I probably will say yes at this time. Will I be selling them? I don't know yet, but I am enjoying the color of this uh, Dunian Burks bag. And uh, even the people who take notice of my purses, the Duni Bolero, they told me it fits my personality. So all in all, I have purple and I think it's yellow. Now I have yellow and pink. And then I have orange and green plus now I have the black so I have two more to accomplish and hopefully I'll find them soon otherwise I'll just keep looking and I'm not in a hurry so there goes my Dune and Burt vintage Bolero bags bye